What's up, good people? Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. This is Rashid with M2G Exterior Cleaning Services. I am on the hunt for a Hudson float valve. Um, the reason why I'm on the hunt for a Hudson float valve instead of just flat out ordering one online is simply because the tanks that I have, I'm not sure if it will actually fit. I have about four 15 gallon drums that I got totally for free. Um, talk about saving money. Um, but I got them from some nursing homes. You know, a lot of times when you go to nursing homes, hospitals, hell, schools, a lot of times they throw stuff like that away. You know what I mean? They'll have, you know, tanks of industrial size orders of stuff they do, laundry soaps, uh, hell, chlorines, different things they use for whatever reason. And when they get done with them, they trash them. So a lot of times you can go in, you know, the back of some of these buildings, nursing homes, hospitals, whatever. Um, obviously, don't do it and be real sketchy and shady looking because then you might get arrested because then they're going to think you're doing something illegal. But a lot of times, if you just ride by the dumpster, you just happen to see some of these tanks and stuff just sitting outside and they going in the garbage, take it with you. That's literally what I did, man. I, I I happened to see them tanks and I was like, yo, that's it. They're going in the garbage? Bet. Let's go. Easy money. Easy tank. So I got four 15-gallon tanks. Um, and I got drops in each one. Um, obviously, I don't use all four of them. I just have them. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is the cap that fits on those 15-gallon drums. And I have to make sure that the Hudson float valve is going to fit in the orifice for this cap. If not, I got to figure out how I can cut a hole the size of this cap. Or excuse me, cut a hole the size of the, the um, float valve so that it fits inside the tank so I can run it like that. Now... There's always more than one way to skin a cat, but at the same time, I also don't want to work too, I want to work smarter, not harder. You know what I'm saying? And the way those tanks are built, I'll see if I can upload a picture of it. The way those tanks are built, um, it's not easy to cut a five inch hole on the top of that tank. It's not a flat surface, okay? The, the top of the tanks are grooved because it has handles on it. And one side has the cap on the other side has a port for air and ventilation when they're pouring the chemical. So there's a bunch of little sections on top of this tank. There's no real place to just cut a gigantic hole. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can find one at Tractor Supply. And then if I can't, then I will go to plan B, which is buy another tank. Because, I, I mean, everything I have fits in Clifford. Clifford is my big red dog. Clifford is my red truck that I run out of. And I don't need a 60-gallon tank sitting inside. Of, I don't need a 30-gallon tank, to be honest. Um, the way I plan to do the things that I'm doing, you know, right now, I do not have the customer base to have a trailer. I don't have the customer base to buy a pickup truck right now. I don't have the customer base to have a 60 gallon tank that's going to run that much water. Like I don't have a machine. I don't have an eight gallon a minute machine. I don't even have a four gallon a minute machine. So everything I have, you know, 2.5 GPM pressure washer, direct drive. Um, this whole plan with a soft wash thing, it's, it's just, it's just got me thinking right now. You know what I'm saying? I do everything downstream with my 2.5 and it works absolutely wonderful. I get the job done. No problems, no complaints. I've washed three-story peaks. Yes, I have. Um, if you get the right tips and you got an extension wand, believe me, it can get done. So it takes a little bit longer, yes. But my average two, my average two-story house wash is an hour and a half. My one-story house wash is an hour, and that's set up to pack up. So from the time I park to set up to the time I'm wrapped up ready to go pull off collect my payment and go an hour and a half for two stories one hour for one story for me that's enough 
making anywhere from three to five hundred dollars in an hour or under two hours for me is good money so it is what it is i'm not i'm not in a whole thought process right now if i need to buy the most expensive soft wash setup or buy all this extra stuff no i'm gonna play with this idea a little bit i'm gonna see what i can work out now if i can't find if this hudson float valve does not fit in this tank then cool um it just won't fit and if i gotta buy a tank i will if i can find a tank you know craigslist offer up whatever i then i then i'll go look for some but i'm not getting ready to spend i'm just i just know i'm not getting ready to spend a whole bunch of money on stuff right now that i don't need now if i had the clientele if i had the customer base which i wish i did which i definitely am pushing for i'm passing out flyers i'm advertising if i had that type of clientele and that customer base then absolutely i would but right now for me the way i see it is there's no point to spend a crap ton of money on equipment when I have no reason to use it right now. There's no reason for me to have a beautiful trailer set up, buy another van to make a, to make a bigger setup or put it all in trailer. There's no point for all that right now when, you know, I'm pulling one to two houses a week in my market, in my area. So I'd rather put my money towards marketing, get enough money, get enough clientele to where I say, okay, now I need to build a software system. Now I need to buy a, a van with more space in it so i can have more equipment i need to buy a trailer so i can actually carry a 60 gallon water tank so i can do stuff other than that man nah my my 15 gallon tanks work just fine my little two and a half gallon mini pressure washer works just fine and i'm good other than that come on let's get in this tractor supply real quick let's see um let's see what they got we'll see if it works and then if not like i said plan b find a tank yeah Those baby chickens were cute. I had to get them in there. Sorry. So, here's the float valve. Here's my cap. I looked at the box and immediately knew this wasn't going to work. Um, I was very unaware at just how big these things are. So, here's the float valve. Now here's my cap, okay? So let me see if I can do this. This is the cap that goes to my tank. So whatever goes in the tank has to get through a hole or orifice this size. Yep. Usually when something don't fit, I just say spit on it. We not even going there. We we just I I just started YouTube. I don't want to be banned already. All right, Plan B. Find a bigger tank. Come outside. This is where they sent me. They said these are the only tanks they have. Um, I've only got like one video of Clifford, and he's not really even in the video. Clifford is my truck again. This is way too big for that right now. Sixty gallon tank. Um, excuse me, sixty five gallon tank. Um, this would be something I'd have to run on a trailer or something like that. But right now I don't have a trailer, so I don't need to tank that big. So now I'm about to go see if I can go find a smaller tank. All right, so I went to Northern Tool to look for some tanks. I figured they would be the next best bet to go with to look for tanks. And um, they had some, they, they, they had some that are you know, decent size, decent price or whatever. Um, but then I started thinking about all the things that uh, I mentioned previously in the video, you know, about spending extra money right now when I don't necessarily have it, have the reason to spend it. You know what I mean? Um, again, there's no real reason to drop three four hundred dollars into a soft wash system right now in my opinion when i don't have the clientele base that requires that um that don't mean it wouldn't be useful that don't mean that i won't do it it's just that right now i think i'm gonna just hold off for a second and just wait wait till i start getting to a point where i'm doing at least a house a day and then i'll i'll do that and i'll work into that 
right now I think I need to spend more time getting these flyers out spend more time getting some marketing stuff going good and all that before I decide to really try to you know um, buy more equipment because the equipment I got is more than enough for what I do more than enough you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna hold out on that I'm gonna wait for a second anyway it is what it is man um, I'm about to grab some lunch then I'm gonna go pass out some flyers yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go get some lunch and pass out some flyers all right